Experimental technology has been developed involving the distortion of time. We have a device that can allow us to send one human being back in time. Seven days. A time machine? I love it. You're the man we've chosen to make the back step. When you arrive in the past, your job will be to brief us on the events about to happen. So they can be prevented. You know what I think? I think this is a typical CIA mind game of some kind. It's a test to see if Frank Parker is well enough to be released from that hospital. Well, guess what, boys and girls? I passed your test. I'm fine. If you'll excuse me. Donovan? Yeah, Frank. Let's take a walk. I told him you'd have to see it. See what? Keep your eyes ahead. Keep walking. Place hand on screen. Eyes front, son. Those boys are their elite. They just as soon shoot you as look at you. It's for real, Frank. Crashed here in 1947, Roswell, New Mexico. That saucer is where the technology for this came from. What the hell is going on here, Donovan? That saucer came a long way from here, Frank. A million light years. A billion? They don't get here in a straight line. They get here by distorting space. And with it, time. We can't travel quite like that yet, but we have kind of half-figured the time distortion aspect. Flying saucers, time machines. You're kidding me, right? See, the time device is powered by a reactor. But instead of heat, it generates its own little gravity field in that field. Time can be played with. Distorted. You're saying it actually works. So far, the results have been less than spectacular. But they do think it's going back in time, though. See, the trouble is, it doesn't always show up where it should. When it gets there, it ends up way out in space or buried deep in the ground. It moves. No, but we are. We're orbiting the sun. See, that's, that's what that flying the needle stuff is all about. It simulates a new system. It's kind of a fine-tuning knob to make sure the thing shows up in the same place it left from. Donovan. Remember when I saved your life in Honduras? Yeah. You kind of owe me one, right? <laughs> yeah. Good. Because I need a drink. I haven't slept in two and a half days, Donovan. Yeah, none of us have. Where the hell are we going? Get your tattoo. Hello, Mr. Parker. Hi, I'm John Ballard. Hi. Guy of front math around here. Come on in. Have a seat. Please roll up your sleeve. I've been in every foreign capital on the globe, drunk. And I've never gotten one of those things. As you can see, it's like a barcode to identify you when you arrive back in time, because we... We won't have met you yet, of course. <laughs> I can introduce myself just fine. Thank you very much. Hello. Hi. What's going on? Just getting my official team tattoo. Good. Well, there's a meeting going on in another room you should be privy to. Data you must memorize so you can brief us when you arrive in the past. In a nutshell, the explosive was of a C4-type composition with oxygen plasma accelerants. It was laced with cyanide, causing poisoning in the 10 block of radius. Ah! Now, it hurts, huh? Yeah, the ink is quite unique. It's, it's radioactive. Suddenly, I'm Tommy Lee. Does it hurt? This? No. Please. 
memorize for us. In Chechnya has been tracking this particularly hardcore Marxist dissident group. They hate America. They hated President Naritsnikov for getting friendly with us. These six men we've identified. Good morning. Morning, Doctor. Pull your coverall off your shoulder, please. Why? I have to put a subcutaneous implant under your arm. So, you gonna cut me? It's a small programmable chip. It's just a tiny incision. Maybe you can give me a nipple ring while you're at it. This is Carl Fredsnev. Male, approximately 40 years of age. He's the leader of this cadre. He's ex-KGB, then Spetsnaz, attained the rank of major. Spent three years in a Moscow prison for political agitation. Escaped a year ago and made his way back to his native Chechnya. So, the Brezhnev group looks good, people. We've appraised Russian intelligence. And they'll be working the case from that end. They lost a president, too, after all. space out of the Earth's gravitational control. The one out there runs slower. Time is elastic, Mr. Parker, and gravity affects it drastically. And this is your new fine-tuning knob. If you can learn to use this as well as I think you can, there's a chance this will work. Why is it seven days? Why not a month, six months, a year? It has to do with the size and power of the reactor, Mr. Parker. Do you want me to explain? The trick is tiny increments, gentleness, unless big movements are necessary. You're aware of the effect you have, aren't you? Yes. We'll have the medical units standing by for you when you arrive. They're on call all the time, just waiting. Why would I need medical units? Physics as we know it, Mr. Parker, is being violated. Some of the outer molecules of your body, hair, skin, fingernails, may not fully make the trip. Doc, <clears throat> there are certain outer molecules in my body I wouldn't exactly want to part with just yet. Your testes. No, no, you'll be intact. We're talking only a few microns, Mr. Parker. A light shaving of your outer epidermis. At least that's what the map tells us. And now we see the horse-drawn caisson. It contains the president's body. Silence is all that can now be heard throughout the crowd. Heads bowed in respect. As a nation says a final goodbye to their fallen leader. Talmadge? Yes, sir. Washington, they say to hell with the odds, we're a go. Tell people! How's it going? There's a hell of a lot of stuff here, Donovan. Well, it's not going to waste. You are time traveling, my friend. Want 
get some air? Send a check every month. You talk to your ex? Oh, yeah, yeah. I spent the last couple of years locked up in a CIA nut house, and they let me call out whenever I want, Donovan. No, I, uh, heard she's dating. What I miss is not raising my son. Spy trade can be kind of hard on family life. You know, personally, if I had to do it over again, I think I'd choose another line. You know, to think of all the fun we had. <laughs> Maybe too much fun, my friend. Mm. Bowman. Is there any chance this thing could actually work? I never lied to you before, Frank. Do me a favor. Look up my son for me and tell him some lies about how cool his old man was.